welcome to the Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add sounds to your Unity project and play them in your game. We're going to be doing two different types of sounds. The first one's going to be a background song for our main menu that's just going to play on awake and infinitely loop. And then the other one is just going to be a pop sound for whenever we collect our pickups. And we're going to call that one to play through a script. This is the final part to our advanced rollerball series. If you missed any of the previous parts, I will link the playlist to the tutorial in the description below. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So like I said, we're going to have two different sounds in this, the first one being a song, the second one being a pop noise. I will link both of those things in the description below. I got them off of freesound.org for this tutorial. And we'll go ahead and import those into our game. So we're going to go to assets and we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this sounds. And then I'm going to open up my file explorer go to my two clips and then just drag and drop them into this folder. And now to have those songs be played within the scene, you need an audio source. So in my menu, I'm going to add this to my main camera and it's just audio source. And then you can either click here and select which one you want, or you can drag it from over here. So this is going to be my menu song. I want it to play on awake and I want it to loop. And now if we go ahead and test and play our main menu, you can see that that sound is playing in the background. So now we can go ahead and add the pop sound that we'll be playing through our script whenever we collect one of the pickup cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the track scene and we'll need to save this scene. And then we want to go to our prefabs and open up our player object. And I'm going to add a audio source to the camera of the player. And then again, you can just do the audio source clip, and this is going to be the pop sound. And I don't want it to play on awake, I want it to play whenever I call it in the script. So I want to make sure that is false. And then I don't want this to loop, I only want this to play once whenever I hit the cube. And so that's all we need to do for our prefab. Now what we want to do is have this be called in a script. So we're going to go to our scripts and open up our player controller. And I want this to be called again whenever I pick up a collectible. And so the first thing we need to do is make reference to this audio source. So we're going to go up to our variables at the top of the script, and we're just going to add a new private variable. So this is going to be audio source, and I'm just going to call this one pop. And then we want to get this audio source component from our player. So we're going to do pop equals get component audio source. and that will grab the audio source component that we added to our player prefab. And now we wanna go ahead and call play on that audio source. So we're gonna go down to where we get that pickup. And then just inside this if statement, we're gonna do pop.play. And that's all of the code for this script. So we can go ahead and go back to our scene And then I actually attach this to the camera, but I'm going to attach it to the player instead because that is where this player controller script is attached that we're getting the audio component through. So you want to make sure just to reference that clip and then again, uncheck play on awake. And then we can go back to our scene hierarchy. And as you can see, this main camera has an audio listener, but we don't actually use this camera after we've spawned our players in. So I'm just going to delete this camera. We don't want to have more than one audio listener within the scene and that camera has it. And then whenever our players spawn in, one of them will have it. And so we just want to delete that. So that way there's no issues there. And now we can go ahead and save our scene and test and play. So if I just move the player over to where the pickups are and pick one up, it should make the pop noise. So as you can see, it makes the pop noise every time we pick one up. So as a recap, we added audio sources to our two different scenes. 
so that we can play sounds within our game. We have one sound that just plays on awake and infinitely loops so that way we can have a background music. And then we have another one that we're playing whenever it's called within the script. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We stream games on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays. We also have a game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon with a YouTuber supporter tier, so if any of those things interest you or you would like to support us in any of those ways, I will link all of those things in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.